welcome to part three of our wedding planning series. Today is January 26th and we are going to a coffee shop. Keegan's here with me and we're going to go in and taste different coffee and make a custom drink for us to, to be serving at our coffee truck that's going to be at our wedding venue. So I'm very excited, let's go do this. <laughs> Okay, we just tried their strawberry acai refresher and it is so good. Keegan is a huge fan, so I'm excited that they have something else other than just coffee for the non-coffee lovers. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so we really like the white chocolate mocha with brown sugar that I kind of put together and then Keegan is still a huge fan of the strawberry acai So we're thinking maybe we could do like a his and hers menu and like his signature drink is this one and my signature drink is this one Hi, so it is February 9th and I have a Zoom call with our wedding planner in about two minutes. It's gonna start today. I really want to try and get our like timeline down in the books because I have a lot of vendors asking like when they should be there and show up and I'm like, I literally don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm really nervous to do all of this because I just don't know how much time you're supposed to allot for things and I literally know that we need to have so much time for pictures and content and stuff. So hopefully I'm gonna talk with her on that. So yeah, let's do this. I have my book from our photographer and then my little planning book and we're gonna get going. All right, well, it was good day. chatting. Thanks for all your help. Absolutely. Have a good day. I'll talk Bye, to you. Bye, too. <laughs> all right, that went super well. I think we have a start time now, so that means I can finally start on the invitations, which will be so fun. I was chatting with her about our honeymoon because I was like, oh, that's our next thing. And she actually went to the place I'm going to go two times now because she loved it so much. So very excited. That means that it should be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so we talked about a lot of stuff. RSVP tracking, she does that all for us. So she told me how to do that for the invitations. She's going to send over some recommendations for officiants. We set up some times for like the vendors to start showing up like our coffee truck. I have a couple questions I am supposed to ask our venue about where the coffee truck like is allowed to be at. And yeah, okay, so my next steps, I am supposed to make a Google Drive and share it all with her because I have a bunch of different documents that I've been making so far and I'm supposed to just share those all with her. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I've been ordering some fake flowers to possibly make my own arrangements for like maybe the welcome sign or an arch. I keep telling you guys about a big DIY project that I wanna do and this kinda has to do with it. So I ordered just a couple batches first to see what it would look like to see if it's worth ordering a bunch of it in bulk and I honestly think this looks really good. Same with these tulips, they look so pretty. Also cute, my vase from California. So I ordered a bunch more last night so that Kylie and I can possibly get started. She said she would help, so maybe we'll do that. But yeah, also this whole tower of Amazon boxes are Keegan's groomsmen gifts. He just asked three of them today over text because they live far away because we're all in college right now and those three are at different colleges so he texted them all and then said that he has a gift for them so he's going to give them to them whenever they come visit next yeah it's so exciting things are on the move and happening oh i ordered something else last night for the wedding i ordered these drink stirrers they are seven dollars for a pack of a hundred so i ordered i think four packs and we're going to get little stickers to put on them maybe like our monogram or i don't know i saw a cute one of like luna I don't know, haven't really thought about it yet, but I just thought they were really cute. I saw it on TikTok and I think that it would turn out so cute. I only ordered these first though, just to make sure that the shape is a circle because it kind of looks ovalish from this picture, but I think it's a circle until I order the stickers and just because I also don't know what I want the stickers to have on them. And sorry, we've had a lot of updates in the last like 10 hours. Keegan and I finally decided on where we want to go on our honeymoon. As I kind of mentioned, we have been back and forth on it for like a month now, both of us going and looking every night for places to go and we just could not decide but we finally decided i'm not gonna tell you guys yet until we go sorry <laughs> you guys will see but we just need to actually book it which will be good but i'm so glad we have like place decided the flights and everything picked out we just need to book it all right 
I've decided I want to go look for some fake flowers to see if I can put together a little arrangement. I don't have those. I guess those are going to be for something else. I'm going to look for like floral foam and I don't know, just anything so that I can find flowers to decorate the coffee truck with. Prices honestly it didn't end up being that bad. It was about $84 for all the flower stuff and then also for all of the cake stuff. I need to go get the cake out of the storage unit and play around with it. I haven't decided when I want to do that yet, but I at least now have some icing and fondant and tools to try and use that. I think I pretty much got everything here though. The only thing where I can't find like the vases that I want for the flower arrangements. So I'm gonna have to order those online so I can't do that project today, but yeah, okay. It's probably it for today. <laughs> Hi, so it's actually a couple days later now and I am driving back to my parents' house. If you're kind of new here, I'm a college student right now, so I'm living on my college campus, which is about an hour away from my hometown and my parents' house and everything. So I've got a lot of packages shipped to my parents' house for the wedding. And I wanted to go and pick some of those up and take them to my storage unit because one of them is like a really big DIY project that I want to get started on just to see if I need to get a florist quote for it or not to see if I can actually do it. So we'll see. And then I think I have like a dress in and a couple other things. So yeah, we're running to go pick those things up. I also think something else from our wedding registry came in so I think someone bought us a little engagement gift we'll have to go and see that too all right you guys so I have the bridesmaids pajamas here and let me just tell you about madness with these so I've been super picky about the bridesmaids like getting ready outfits because I wanted something really cute and I just felt all this pressure and I finally found what I wanted and I waited until Black Friday to order them so I could get a little deal so keep in mind I ordered as many of them as I could on Black Friday so this has been in the works since then that's what november 26th or 27th or something and it's now february 11th this is how long i've been stressing over these <laughs> so i ordered as many as i could in the correct sizes and then there were still about like three or four that i needed to get but they like didn't have the correct sizes in stock so i was just waiting until it came back on stock and so i'd refresh it every day to try and order them and get them in just because i was like okay well i have until october i'm sure if i just keep refreshing i will eventually get them all and I finally did like the last week of January maybe I finally got them all ordered I was so relieved because I could finally close that tab and stop refreshing it every day and so they're all coming in and my mom is sending me pictures like because they're coming to my parents house and she's sending me pictures and she's like oh they came in I think I think we have all of them let me open up this last one and it only has the bottoms there's no top so now I have everybody's sets in the correct sizes but one person's doesn't have a top and then so I've been refreshing it again just to try and just buy the whole thing again because I contacted nasty gals like support and they literally just were like okay here's a refund of seven dollars I was like, what? <laughs> that makes no sense. So anyway, so I just figured I would have to rebuy the whole outfit, but now Nasty Gal like took the color off of the like listing. So I'm like terrified it's not gonna come back in stock and we're just gonna have one person without a top. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. If it ends up like not working out, I might think of something like special for Kylie to wear for like the maid of honors, just like something like that, since we would be down one set. But, yeah, so I'll show you what they look like though. The color color looks awful on this camera, but it's like a champagne color and it's a two-piece like pajama set. Hopefully none of my bridesmaids are watching this because I kind of wanted it to be a surprise, but it's been quite the journey, so I just want to tell you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's like a pajama top, but the like sleeves have this cute little ruffle and then the matching bottoms are just shorts and then they have this little ruffle on them. I just thought they were so cute. I was obsessed with the champagne color and then the ruffle. Those were like the things that drew me in to buy these, so yep. That's what we have, trying our best. So I'm gonna go through and look at each girl's size and like mark them with a sticky note so that I don't lose track and yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, 
looks like Maddie is missing her set. So hopefully you can find it. If not, I will try and look for something special for Kylie, as I said. But yeah, okay, now my next task is I'm going to try on a dress that I think I might use as my like second dress, possibly, if it fits, so. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'll show you guys though, so yeah. <laughs> okay, um, unfortunately this does not fit. I feel like the actual tooth fairy right now, it just does not fit in this region. Things could fall out at any moment, which would not be good. I cannot dance in this. Sorry, you can hear Luna's panting. She's very excited to be here. I mean, it was a cute idea, uh, but yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Too much tool in this, but it is so pretty. There's like little curls. I don't know, maybe I could save it for like maternity pictures if I ever have kids, <laughs> but yeah, no. Such a cute dress though. Just wish it would have fit. It's kind of weird because it was like made to size. So you'd think it would fit, but nope, that's okay. This is exciting though, because that means I'm going to go and try and find this second dress that I've been like super excited about. Ever since I saw it on Instagram maybe, I've just had a crush on this dress. So I might go to Indy someday with Kylie and try and find it to try it on. But yeah, okay. That's enough on this dress. <laughs> and we did get a registry gift in. We got some towels, just some black ones, and then there's also some white ones in there. Super exciting. It's so crazy to like literally watch our future house and apartment literally get like stocked of stuff. But thank you, oh. Michelle, if you're watching this, thank you for these. It's so sweet to be in your family. Also, I'm not sure if I ever said thank you to Sarah A, a subscriber that sent us these salad containers off of our registry. Literally, thank you so much. That is so sweet. And I'm so excited to get to use these. I like want to cry every single time one of you guys sends us a gift off of our registry. Seriously, not expected it at all. But when you guys do, it's like such a big surprise and like so sweet. So thank you to those who have. I've been trying to like say thank you or like shout you out in at least like whatever vlog or video I'm filming that day if it comes in. So yeah, okay. So sweet. <laughs> and this right here should be a pretty crucial part of a DIY project. So I'm gonna try and bring this back. It's a little heavy though. I'm also bringing back our whole box of our save the dates because we really need to send these out. We probably should have sent them out like last month, but we did not. Cause we still don't have our guest list completely finished, but we're working on it. We're actually almost done. We should have it done by this weekend. But I ordered some really pretty stamps to go on them. These are from Etsy. I'm really hoping that they will send. A lot of people on TikTok said that they work, so. We'll see. Then I have our wax seal press. So that's just what it would look like. Um, the actual like thingy is in here. I have some wax. Don't know if this will be enough for all of them, but we're gonna try. Then the save the dates themselves. I have them from Minted. They are so freaking cute. And then I have the magnets because I want to put these on the back of them so that people can hang them up on their fridge and not use like their own magnet because it would ruin the aesthetic of the whole thing. So we're gonna try and do that. So it's gonna be a pretty big process like putting those all together, but Keegan and I will sit down and do them. And then we also didn't use their free like addressing on the envelopes because we didn't have our guest list done. Guys, I ordered these on Black Friday as well because there was a sale. Sorry, that was a lot of becauses. <laughs> so we're also gonna like have to handwrite those or use like my printer, but I don't know, it's an envelope. I feel like a lot of people are just gonna throw it away. So we'll actually make the invitations look pretty, but for the sake of the days, I think I'm just gonna try and handwrite them. Hello, it is Sunday, February 13th. And today Keegan is going to be asking some of his groomsmen to be a part of his wedding party. Only some of them though, because they're all in different like areas of Indiana right now since they all go to different colleges. So he's asking some that are here today. And Keegan and I went to the liquor store earlier to get part of their gifts because we're giving them an insulated cooler backpack that's like a beer tab. And then we're gonna fill it with like alcohol, like beer cans probably. And I'm just now printing out these little things to go with them so that it kind of makes sense. So yeah, then we're gonna do that. Keegan is literally like taking an exam right now. <laughs> life of college student in planning a wedding. So he can't be here to help me with printing these out, but it's gonna do it soon. Okay, so Keegan and today is going to be asking three of them, Charlie, Nick, and Hunter, who they nicknamed McChicken for the last couple years. So he's asking them today, and the others honestly will probably be very sporadic, but all of Keegan's groomsmen are basically from high school or like childhood friends, so that's exciting. Yo! <laughs> Coming to the party. <laughs> the check! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Two of these are there for you too, but one of these is 
Yeah. 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 Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you have the twist. Yeah, you have the twist. Well, then what do you guys say? Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, of course, I'll be your groom. Um, I have more people to ask. I think I'm going to pass. That's really cool. I really... That's close, buddy. So, we have been surprising his groomsmen slowly a couple at a time. So, right now we're about to do Hunter Hill, who is also dating Kylie, who's my maid of honor. So, we are putting together his little bag and we're gonna go surprise him. Hunter, are you ready? ready? Oh, <laughs> oh, hey. That's. <laughs> the, way you... the way you walk past it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Well, what do you say? Of course. <laughs> it's heavy. Damn. <laughs> That'd be perfect for spring break. Wow. So I'm going to try and put together our save the dates first and try the wax seal and putting it all together. So yeah, let's try it. First, I got these magnet squares to go on the top of it right there just so that people can put them on their fridge. Let's do a test. Oh yeah, that's going to stick. Perfect. Okay, in the envelope, these envelopes are so nice. Also, I got the Save the Dates and everything from Minted. I have a hot glue, well not hot glue, a wax stick in a hot glue gun to try and make a wax seal. It is time to try one for the first time. <gasps> wow! Oh, pretty. today and today we are going to do a lot of wedding things because it's Wednesday and you know what that means wedding planning Wednesday so today King and I are going to Indianapolis which is the capital of Indiana and we're going to Crate and Barrel to add some stuff to our registry because we want to go in person and see what there is we are registered at like four different places so yes we are still with Bed Bath & Beyond too we like to have a lot so we I think we have Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Amazon, and then Crate and Barrel so we're going in person today so that we can pick some things out and then I might come back and Keegan and I will print out some address labels and finish up our save the dates maybe so yeah okay let's get going I didn't vlog a single thing in there but we did add some things to our registry we found a like cutlery set that we really liked it was a little pricey though little like sponge and soap holder some coasters <laughs> we found the espresso machine that we already have i actually ended up buying this so we do have it already it's just at my parents house because i didn't want to open it yet and use it at the house i'm at right now Ooh, i just wanted to wait until we actually have our own apartment to use it so we're gonna wait might end up opening it over the summer though just because i want to try it out we added some linen like dinner napkins just to have whenever we like set the table all nice and host I know. A little sink caddy we thought would be helpful. Some cheese knives, like how cute. We ended up adding on this wine cooler. We just thought it looked fun. I don't know, why not? <laughs> and yeah, we had a couple other things, but I just wanna show you guys. So now we're gonna go home. It's about 2.45. We probably will go back and still keep working on wedding things. We need to like print out some of the address labels and put them on the save the dates. So let's go do that. Did you have fun? Oh yeah, so much fun. Oh yeah, picking out stuff. <laughs> just got back. Guess what we just did? Ordered our invitations. I'm so excited. I had so much pressure behind finding like the perfect invitation. I didn't want to pick one and then not like it in a couple months because obviously the wedding's not for quite some time. I'm actually doing a collab with Minted for the invites. So obviously that meant I had to pick them out and get that already ahead of normal time. So I'm so excited. I'll show you guys the ones I picked. Or should I wait until they get in? Mm. I'll wait. I'll wait. It might be in the next wedding planning vlog just because I don't want to spoil it before I make the content for them, but I'm so excited. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of two of the like add-ons that I did. Ooh. Ooh. So you can imagine what you think I'm going to do with those. Um, I'm so excited. Okay, but it's still Wednesday as it's the same day that we started this little mini vlog part of this video. <laughs> it's now 4 p.m. though, and I'm going to now start getting together 
together some of the addresses onto a template for the stickers for the labels and see if we can print those out and see if they look good today. It's four o'clock and Keegan and I were hoping to go to the gym at six, but we said maybe it'd be okay to skip today if we really needed to get some of this wedding stuff done. So yeah. And tomorrow, Kylie and I are going back to Indy and I'm going to be trying on a dress that I think I want as my second dress. I've been dreaming of this dress. The only thing is that the price of it is mm, pretty pricey. So I'll include that footage in this vlog too. So you guys will see it in a couple probably seconds or minutes, I guess, because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the printing of the addresses. <laughs> yeah, I'm so pumped. So I have these that I bought from Target. So we're gonna try to use these and then, I uh, don't wanna show anyone's address, but I made this thing on InDesign with everyone's addresses. I'll try to print out like a fake one at the end maybe so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh boy, I think it's working. These turned out so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I need to like try it on an envelope to make sure it doesn't look weird. Yay, it looks so cute you guys. Now I need to make one that are like return labels do and I also still have to make like 150 more of these. Like I have to hand type everybody's addresses. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's what they look like. This is Keegan and I's, well, my P.O. box as the like return address. So if you could just imagine this, but like with real people's addresses. So cute, it turned out so well. I love them. Now I'm gonna take them over to Keegan's and we're gonna spend the next like, couple hours putting all the labels on all the envelopes. And I really wanna send them out like tomorrow or something, but the only problem is the wedding website like has to be done before we send them out and it's not close to being done, so. Hello, it is the next day, February 24th. And today, Kylie and I are headed to Indy to try on a dress that I really want as my second dress for like the reception. It is so cute and I've had my eyes on it for like the entire time ever since I got engaged. So I'm so excited to go try it on. I have really high hopes. And you guys will never guess, I found it on Poshmark for half off. And the girl who's selling it is the exact same size as me, same height and everything. So I'm going to try it on at like a bridal boutique just to make sure that I like how it looks on my body. And then if I do like it, I'm probably gonna buy it from this girl of Poshmark. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Hopefully this all works out. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. And then on the whole car right there, it's about like an hour drive. Kylie and I are going to be trying to plan the bachelorette. And we'll also have like an hour, we're gonna go to a coffee shop and plan there more before the appointment. So Kylie put together this whole presentation to plan the bachelorette. Best name on it. I just tried on the dresses. Kylie was here for mom's yeah. support. She took a lot of pictures for us. This place is so cute. It's kind of magic today. How cute. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, it went so well. I loved the dress and I think I'm going to get it from the lady off of Poshmark. I think I'm buying it like from her tonight. So that's exciting. It's gonna be really good. Yeah. Now, Keegan and I might stick all the labels on our save the dates and then send those out tomorrow, hopefully. We'll see. And then this Sunday, I am going bridesmaid dress shopping with all my bridesmaids. It's gonna be so good. But I'm going to include that in next wedding planning vlog because I feel like this one might've gotten pretty long. I really don't know what all I've done in this vlog because it all just runs together eventually. And stuff so we'll move that to the next vlog so get excited but yeah thank you guys for coming along wedding planning vlog part three i think and i'll see you guys in my next one